Greetings, I'm Ms. Oleiling Medlin, Principal of NUS High School of Mathematics and Science. And it is my great pleasure to welcome you on this journey to experiment, explore, and excel with NUS High. We are a young and dynamic school, set up only 16 years ago in 2005. The school aspires to inspire and shape the future of education in mathematics and science. In its short history, the school has established its name in the fraternity of schools for those who are passionate and talented in mathematics and science across the globe, from China to Australia, from Japan to the United States. At the local level, we pride ourselves for leading the way in curriculum innovation. For example, we incorporated computational thinking into our curriculum for all year once since 2016. And at the international level, we organized the biannual Singapore International Mathematics Challenge. I was also approached by schools from Thailand and US to share our curriculum framework. So, what is our vision for our graduates? We strive to nurture our students to be future-ready pioneers, humanitarians, and innovators for the world. Besides having the values, attitudes, and skills to adapt and overcome challenges in a fast-changing world, we want them to have the pioneering spirit of risk-takers and innovators who have the courage and grit to explore untrodden paths to turn improbable dreams into reality, to do this not merely for their personal achievements, but for the improvement of lives of people around the world. Our aspirations are founded on the values of wonderment, integrity, service, excellence, resilience, and humility. We form our students to be motivated by their fascination with the world and self-driven to do their best in every endeavor. They are guided by sound moral values and humble in learning and serving, with a can-do spirit that directs them to persevere, to pick themselves up when they fall. In short, we grow wiser with humility. How do our vision and values translate into student outcomes? There is no better way than to look at our young alumni. Our very first president scholar hails from the class of 2013. Brandon graduated from Harvard University and is now serving in the Ministry of National Development. Girish Kumar, he was the first student in Singapore to make it to the finals of the Google Science Fair. At year six, he won the Google Technologies Award with his software RevUp, which could intelligently read information and formulate relevant questions based on the information. If you are a teacher, you would love this software as it could generate multiple choice questions with viable distractors given any text. Our school helped Girish to file a provisional patent for his software. To date, we have filed two provisional patents for students for their inventions. Challenging gender stereotypes, our girls do exceeding well in mathematics and science. Gloria is the valedictorian for the class of 2012. She developed deep interest in technology while in NUS High and pursued a master's in computer science at Stanford under an EDB scholarship. She is passionate about using emerging technologies to solve human problems and is now a product designer with GovTech, working on national digital identity, inclusion, and accessibility. Yixian, on the other hand, is an outdoor enthusiast. This photo shows her bravely attempting waterfall abseiling at Mount Ophir in a trip with the school's outdoor activity club. Having an avid interest in plants, Yixian discovered a new species of orchid in her research project in year five. She read biology at Oxford University and is now working at NParks. Our pioneering spirit is apparent in Charles Wong. Charles won the Singapore Digital Tech Blazer Award with his final year project at SUTD, the Singapore University of Technology and Design. Upon graduation, Charles co-founded Bifrost, a company that builds 3D worlds at scale, a first in Singapore, which can generate a large volume of 3D data for training AI. Even though all our students have passion for maths and science, not everyone chooses to pursue a career in STEM. About 30% of our graduates pursue courses in non-STEM areas. Sherilyn, for example, studied law at Cambridge and topped the faculty. At NUS High, she had many opportunities to stretch herself beyond math and science, including chairing the Sustainable Development Youth Convention. So these are some of our exemplary pioneers, humanitarians, and innovators. In our school song, there is a phrase, 
arise young minds together. NUS High brought together passionate students in a culture that encourages them to experiment, explore, and excel. The interactions with peers ignite and fuel their interests and enthusiasm and take them to new territories. Let us now take a look at the unique structure of the school. You are, of course, familiar with the structure of a typical school in Singapore. After four to five years of secondary education, majority of students in Singapore sit for the GC O-level examinations. Some would proceed to junior colleges for two years to prepare for the GC A-level examinations or the International Baccalaureate. About 10% of students in Singapore opt for the integrated programs, which offer six-year through train curricula that skip the O-levels and prepare students for the GC A-levels or the International Baccalaureate. NUS High is the only high school in Singapore where students do not need to take any national exams, no O-levels, no A-levels. We offer our own diploma, which is recognised by all local universities and top universities in the US, UK, Australia and other countries around the world. We are also the only school where students can read undergraduate modules from NUS, SNU and SIT DigiPen as these universities recognise the high calibre of NUS High students. So what does it look like if your child joins NUS High? If they complete a few university modules when they are in school, they will earn credits that can be transferred to the respective universities should they gain admission. This would allow them to shorten the time needed to complete their degrees, or they could have more time to take up internships or extend exchange programs with overseas universities. With a cohort size of only 180 students each year, our school offers an excellent student-to-teacher ratio. The small cohort avails your child with abundant opportunities to learn and grow holistically, to discover his passions and strengths, and to form lifelong friendships with peers and strong teacher-student relationships. As the students do not need to prepare for both the O-levels and the A-level examinations, not only is time freed up for learning, it also allows us the flexibility to design a curriculum that flows naturally over six years, rather than the four plus two years in other IP schools. For example, when your child learns the physics of motion in NUS High, it is done as a single meaningful module. We do not split it up into one-dimensional motion at the O-level and two-dimensional motion at the A-level. Our curriculum structure is built on the modular system that allows your child the flexibility to choose a combination of modules according to his or her passion. It also accords us the flexibility to accelerate students according to their strengths. Students' performance is recognised through the grade point system. Your child will earn credits for each module completed, which contribute towards the cumulative average point, or CAP for short. Only modules for years 3 to 6 are counted towards graduation. This will give your child sufficient time to transition from primary to secondary school and to adjust to the new curricular approach and expectations. There are three types of modules in our curriculum. Core modules are compulsory, and students must pass them as they build the foundational knowledge and skills for each subject domain. Students can choose to take up elective or enrichment modules according to their interests. Elective modules are more rigorous in nature and aim to give a deeper understanding of the subject, whereas enrichment modules aim to broaden their interests and do not count towards the final grade. It also encourages them to learn out of interest rather than for grades. The first three years of the high school curriculum is classified as foundation years and the upper three years are the specialisation years. Shaping the character and values of the child is the foundation of a good education. Character and citizenship education is taught explicitly in the curriculum and this is complemented by the core curriculum, which will be elaborated on later. Being a specialised math and science school, we have an enriched curriculum in these domains. As mentioned earlier, we lead the way in introducing computational thinking into our curriculum by making computer science a compulsory module for all our year ones since 2016. Biology, chemistry and physics are taught as specialised modules from year one. Although we are a math and science school, our curriculum is very holistic and develops students in the languages, humanities and aesthetics domains at the same level, if not higher, compared to other schools in Singapore. 
We are aligned to the national policy on bilingualism, and all students offer mother tongue languages at the standard or higher mother tongue levels. A very small number of students offer the lower mother tongue B level. Students sit for the GC O level mother tongue examinations, similar to students in mainstream and other IP schools. These are the only national examinations that our students sit for. For third language, we offer the Malay Special Program, Chinese Special Program, and Japanese in house, so our students do not need to travel to MOE language centres to read these languages. Note that third and foreign languages are optional modules. Humanities Studies is integrated at year one, and students offer geography, history, literature, art, or music at years two and three. Research is an important component of the NUS high curriculum throughout the six years. Students progress from basic research skills in the lower years to individualized or team-based research projects at the upper years. Of course, an education is incomplete without the development of a healthy body and physical education makes up the holistic curriculum. In the specialization years, a student must offer a math major and two science majors. A fourth major is optional and can be in any science, humanities or aesthetics. Students who do not read a major in the humanities will need to take up a humanities capstone module. For each math and science major, students can also choose to offer it at the honours level. By the end of year three, students would have completed a curricular coverage equivalent to O-level plus. At year six, a major is slightly beyond a H2 subject at A-level, while an honours is packed at the first year of undergraduate studies. To give a sense of the demands of a major, let me illustrate with two examples. The first example is computer science. All schools are starting to provide some exposure to computing, some with vendor support. We are the only school in Singapore with a full six-year computer science program conducted by our very own full-time teachers. As we have full control of our curriculum, we review and update it regularly to maintain it at the forefront of computer science education. All year one students have to read a compulsory computational thinking module, and the foundation in programming is built upon in years two and three. Mobile app development, data analytics, artificial intelligence, and cybersecurity are already included in our major modules. Many of our students are talented in more than one area. For example, it is not uncommon to see students who are strong in math and music. Such students can read music as the fourth major in our school. Because of our affiliation with NUS, we are able to tap on the NUS Yong Siu To Conservatory to support our music majors. If your children come to NUS High, our qualified staff will make every effort to ensure that they learn in authentic environments and that the lessons engage their curious minds. They will spend a significant amount of time in the labs or out in field trips to understand the world through science. Those of you who know the book or movie, Lord of the Rings, will know that Frodo has an elven cloak, which can make him invisible. In December 2014, the University of Rochester engineered a lens system that makes the object behind the lenses becomes invisible. In early 2015, we set up a similar system in NUS High to engage our students in the study of optics. If your child has a chance to visit our school, come round to take a photograph of yourself disappearing. In the foundation years, your child will have practicals every week in the lab for all three sciences. We have the equipment that would allow students to construct their cloud chambers. They can then see the ionizing radiation for themselves. So even theoretical physics can be learned via experiential inquiry. Field trips are a norm for students taking biology. In fact, the biology interest group makes regular trips to various places like offshore islands to have a closer look at nature. The crime scene investigation or CSI activity is conducted as one of the practical projects that students have to complete as part of their core module. Through creating a mock crime scene, Teachers can show the relevance of testing chemicals in real-life contexts. Assessment of student performance in the modules are authentic and multimodal. Besides pen and paper tests, 
Alternative assessments like projects and portfolios are common. For example, students will learn projectile motion and illustrate their understanding by designing and building their own projectile launches. You may be familiar with the Power Puff Girls. It is actually a mathematics assignment submitted by our Year 3 students to showcase their understanding of curve transformation like rotation, shearing, etc. I have mentioned that research is an important component of the curriculum. Let me now elaborate on the research curriculum. We name our program for research, innovation and enterprise after Leonardo da Vinci. It is because we want to develop our students to become a polymath, someone who is comfortable with learning and using multidisciplinary and interdisciplinary knowledge and skills. We do so with a set of 10 modules in this six-year program. The core modules in year one lay the foundational skills in design and engineering, science presentations, and research methodology. In years two and three, your child will choose one from among junior math research, junior science research, and junior maker. In the upper years, students will do a project in an area of their choice. Leonardo da Vinci had many strengths, among which was design and engineering. Year one students will learn Arduino programming and use it to start their innovation journey in the design and engineering module. For example, a group of girls came up with a solar tracker. You can see that the solar panel will actually rotate and orientate itself to the light source to get the maximum power output. Another group of students placed Arduino sensors on a glove to show proof of concept that sign language can be automatically converted into text on the computer. A third group, who are Rubik's Cube enthusiasts, decided to use their skills to build a Rubik's Cube solver. Interested students can take up the Advanced Design and Engineering elective module to deepen their technical skills. The four-legged spider-like robot is one such work from students who did this module. Besides these modules, students can choose to join the engineering interest group to learn from one another. The photo shows the students learning about the engineering of a racing car in SUTD. All these skills can culminate to an engineering project for graduation. The video shows a year five student who chose to build his own autonomous underwater vehicle. Autonomous means that the vehicle moves without any human control or intervention, but based on sensors and its onboard computer. You can see that initially, the vehicle has difficulty staying upright, but after many, many trials, the student was able to rectify the problem. This is the fun in innovation and engineering. I believe many of you are excited and looking forward to such opportunities. NUS High School not only has many science labs for teaching and learning, we also have a series of specialized research facilities and labs, such as the Nuclear Magnetic Resonance or NMR instrument. Synthetic Chemistry Lab, Clean Energy Lab, Life Science Labs, and an Astronomy Observatory. Every Year 5 student has to complete a research project of his or her own interest. This is made possible by our strong and wide network of partners. You can see here the many partnerships and collaborations we have formed with universities, research institutions, and hospitals for research projects. Let me share with you some of the products of the research projects. The NTHEX at the top left is an irregular 3D puzzle designed by a pair of students in 2016. The top right shows a project of three girls over three years on supercapacitive paint, mentored by DSO National Laboratories. The girls became the second group of students from Singapore whose project reached the final of the Google Science Fair, the first being our student Girish Kumar mentioned earlier. The bottom left shows a pair of siblings who wrote a research proposal to tag radio transmitters to dragonflies. They received a research grant from the little green dot for this research. You may have seen many drones, but at the bottom right is an unusual tri-rotor constructed by a student. In all these projects, the students had gone beyond the requirements of the advanced research project out of their own passion and interest, and they demonstrated a great deal of determination and resilience. The outcomes of our research, innovation, and enterprise program are many, including 57 research publications, four books, and numerous international awards for our students. We also filed two patents for them. The school has in place special programs to stretch our most talented students. 
the Galileo program brings our students learning to the frontier of space. Selected students read space engineering modules in NUS together with undergraduates. One of the projects that our students participated in was the Asian Tri-Zero-G experiment conducted by JESA, the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. JESA has an astronaut in the International Space Station. It ran a competition called Asian Tri-Zero-G Experiment to get used in Asian countries to propose experiments to be conducted by the Japanese astronaut. In 2018, two out of the eight experiments selected were proposed by our Year 3 students. The first experiment is paper boomerangs. Uh, this experiment is proposed by Indonesian and uh, Singaporean friends. Okay, when I tried this boomerang on the ground before going to space, the boomerang, when I throw, then soon it will come back towards me but in space for some reason it won't come back i will try one more time it's just gone one mode of talent development is acceleration here is an example of how students who are strong in math could accelerate and skip modules taken by their peers and offer maths modules at NUS instead. At year two, they could skip the year two module and offer the year three module instead. After completing the year four module, they could skip the year five module and go straight to the year six module. With this flexibility, they would have accelerated two years and are able to read two modules at NUS in years five and six. Here is a list of the modules taken by our students at NUS, SMU, and SIT DigiPen. It spans the fields of sciences, engineering, and mathematics, computing, and also language and management. This list is being reviewed and expanded year on year. Two thirds of our students would take up at least one university module, and majority would do well. So such opportunities are for majority of our students. Talented students are also stretched through their academic Olympiad modules. The sterling achievements of our students is testimony to the success of the program. Notably, our students have clinched top spots in the International Olympiads, like Lim Jack, Xin Yi, Zhihan, and Francis.
Besides the mathematics and sciences, talents in the humanities, English language and literature are also harnessed through the Socrates program. Our in-house student-initiated Sustainable Development Youth Convention has a reach beyond Singapore and is well attended by international participants. This is a platform through which our students relate their interests in math and science to applications in the society. Certainly, our students have flexed their muscles in other platforms as well, from writing and scrabble to moot parliament. In summary, NUS High School offers a unique and holistic academic curriculum that is forward-looking and flexible in catering to the passions and interests of our students. The strong emphasis on research develops the 21st century competencies of our students and prepares them well for the future. Learning is exciting and fun, with real-life applications and cool gadgets and equipment weaved into lessons and assessments. The talent development platforms stretch the students in not just their math and science talents, but also their strengths in the humanities, language and literature. Our girls and boys have performed very well on the national and international arena. We successfully clinched the National Science Challenge Championship for two consecutive years. Those who have completed the diploma gained admission to reputable universities locally and around the world. But life in school is not all about academic studies. In fact, we know that one of the considerations in the choice of secondary school for many children is the co-curricular activities, or CCAs. NUS High offers 24 CCAs, an amazingly large number considering the small cohort size. These include clubs and societies, performing arts, sports, and uniformed groups. With CCAs meeting only twice a week, Students have done exceedingly well in many areas. At the Singapore Youth Festival Arts Presentations in 2019, Chinese orchestra, choir and dance were awarded a certificate of distinction. Drama was awarded the certificate of accomplishment, while the string ensemble was awarded the certificate of commendation. Our sporting talents and clubs have also done us proud in the last national school games for fencing, taekwondo and athletics as well as for chess and robotics championships. To encourage a pioneering spirit and student initiative, the school further supports student interest groups that are student-initiated and student-run in pursuit of passions beyond the curriculum. We currently have 10 student interest groups with a total membership of about 400. I cannot overemphasize the importance of character and citizenship education and humanitarian education in the school curriculum. If a picture is worth a thousand words, then a video would be the best way to tell the story of character and citizenship education and humanitarian education at NUS High. Indeed, we want our students to develop sound moral principles and empathy for others to make a difference to those in need and contribute positively to Singapore and the world. Hence, our character and humanitarian education are supported by a leadership development framework.
to help our students develop the skills, attitudes, awareness and influence so that every NUS high student is poised to lead self, inspire others and shape futures. Besides leadership opportunities at various structured platforms, including student council, house, class, CCA, SIG, project, etc., we believe that leadership does not require a formal title or position. Rather, it is a conscious choice to make a positive difference to others by stepping up when opportunity presents itself or by creating opportunities themselves to develop a growth mindset and encourage our students to have the humility to learn from the best in the world and also to develop cross-cultural skills, the school offers every student an opportunity to learn overseas, thanks to the small cohort size. Besides cultural exchange programs, we also partner with universities exclusively to organize overseas student academic programs, or OSEP for short. This gives our students more opportunities compared to competing with students from schools from the MOE OSEP programs. This shows our students on OSEP to University of Queensland in Australia, OSEP to CERN in Switzerland, XLAB in Germany, and Beihang University in China. In summary, the student development programs of the school is anchored on our school values of wonderment, integrity, service, excellence, resilience, and humility. We build the character strengths of our students through formal and informal platforms, including character and citizenship education, humanitarian education, student leadership development, CCAs, etc. The culture of care and positive relationships among teachers and students provide the emotional support structure that guides the growth and development of our students. The quality of an education is highly dependent on the quality of the staff. At NUS High, we have a committed team of academic and administrative staff who form the pillars of the school and support the many school programs for our students. They are academically qualified to help your child realize his or her full potential and experienced in mentoring and guiding your child through the six years of education in the school. Besides teaching in school, our staff are also actively promoting their professional craft beyond the school. Mr. Eric Vallis is our English teacher. Passionate about poetry, he nurtures his students to become young poets. As the director of the Singapore Poetry Festival, he is well positioned to provide lots of opportunities for our students to learn and appreciate poetry. Our lab technologies are also highly qualified. Some of them are degree holders and one has a master in science communication. Mr. Joseph Tan is also one of the innovative champions in MOE because of his creativity in designing physics demonstrations that benefit not only our own students, but also all A-level students. We have a strong culture of care. The healthy staff-student ratio allows staff to know every student as an individual. We only have 180 students per cohort, and we have six years to know and see them grow under our care. The year heads and class mentors, together with the subject teachers, build a culture of care that envelops the students, giving them the support and encouragement during their transition from primary to secondary education, and in times of stress and disappointment as well. They also join the students in celebration of their successes and in times of fun and laughter. The positive relationships among students and also between students and teachers is what makes the school a second home for the students. The notes of appreciation from students during Teachers' Day and graduation are testimony to the caring culture in the school. The NUS High Diploma is unique and is reviewed and accredited regularly by NUS, MOE Curriculum Planning and Development Division, and MOE Gifted Education Branch. Our affiliation with NUS accords us their support in the areas of university modules for our students, mentoring by academics, access to distinguished visitors like Noel laureates, and access to physical resources like the library and the university town. Our outstanding students are able to secure admission to NUS during the direct admission phase with their portfolio of research projects and university modules taken during the high school years. To support our students who are keen to further their education in the US, 
The school organizes U.S. advanced placement examinations for interested students. Our students have performed well consistently, and almost all NUS high students can be exempted from year one modules at top U.S. universities. Our curriculum is designed by our school. Because of that, we can respond very quickly to the needs of our students and make them future ready. The curriculum is accredited by a team of NUS professors, MOE curriculum experts, and gifted education specialists once every five years. Our diploma is recognized by all local universities and top universities in UK, US, and Australia. The list on this slide is the first set of universities that recognize our diploma even before we have our first graduates in 2008. Now, the list is much longer and you can refer to our website for the updated list. Our NES High Diploma is recognized by all the local universities and top universities overseas. The reputation of our diploma is further strengthened by our graduates who are doing very well in these top universities. You must be thinking, that was a lot of information shared in this video. Indeed, because NUS High is a very unique school, unlike all the other schools you know. You can visit this recording and digest the information in bits. In making your decision, you can perhaps do the following. Find out more about the school by visiting our website, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube channel. Ask yourself if you have a passion in math and science. If you do, then you may be the candidate we are looking for. Do not be deterred by the number of applicants. You will never know whether you will succeed unless you try. So join us to realize your full potential as a pioneer, humanitarian, and innovator. See you soon.